go and welcome back to another slice and dice video it's me cranberry hopefully you are doing well i'm having a pretty good one just chilling you know how it is you know how it be and all that uh just uh here to play a little slice and dice i did do a stream yesterday it was pretty cool and i am planning on doing another one today as well so if you are watching this video roughly around the time that it gets uploaded give or take a few hours i might be doing a live stream so come check it out it should be cool uh, probably planning on playing Slice and Dice, but I'm not 100% sure yet. If I find something else that piques my interest, maybe we'll do that instead, but realistically, it's, it's going to be Slice and Dice. Let's, let's not beat around the bush here. It's going to be a Slice and Dice stream, almost certainly. Uh, it, it should be cool. Yeah, now, we like I said, we did a stream yesterday. The stream ended on a win, but we're only on a one-win streak because of that. Uh, and yeah, let's let's hop in here. Let's play a little. Let's play a little slicey. I'm down to go do a little a little sysab here. Doesn't matter too much, but it is neat. Uh, I did have a a run the other day that had this curse or this blessing, I should say. But instead of the top three or the middle three, I guess it was the top four heroes all got plus one level, and it ended up being really strong. We run we won the run very easily. Uh, we took, like, I think, like, one generate character total the whole time. Um, so that was kind of neat, too, right? But I think the real strength of this is just having the leveled up characters earlier. It does make a pretty big difference. But just because we can does not mean we should. Let's see what our actual curses are here, too. Monster left five seems like kind of a nightmare. It seems like if you, is, is, every monster has a one in six chance to just one-shot one of your characters then. Which I don't love. Um... Add, add, 11 to 20 add quartz doesn't seem like too bad of a curse. I think we can do that. I think slime demic is not too bad either. Right now we're at 7 points. We need 2 more. I'm okay with add B and monster right 1, I think. Oh, wait, we're, we're one short. Shit. Hold on. Maybe add B and... Uh... I don't hate this, actually. It will be annoying with the Quartz. The Quartz will get uh, a little bit more HP. It should be harder to get them to meet their, their death quota. But the cool thing about this is that... Oh, no, I'm wrong, actually. I was going to say, I think that the Slime Demic health is the same pip as the Instant Kill health pip. So they will still summon their Slimes. But the Slimes won't have the bonus health. From this, they don't have the 4 HP threshold to trigger the plus 1 HP. So that doesn't seem too bad... I think we can make this work, well, honestly. This is yeah, this this seems fine. And my game was lagging a little bit. That was kind of strange. I don't know I don't know what that was about exactly, but eh, should be not too big of a deal, I think. Now, I was going to say I'm a little bit worried about killing this thorn here, but uh lazy has made me not nearly as worried now, which is cool. Put this here. And we'll just pass the turn. I think I think we got this one pretty handled. Dude, Lazy is just going off today. What was that noise? Did you hear that? Oh, weird. Okay, well, Prodigy Prodigy doing pretty good stuff for me. What was funny is, I, I listen, I've been a Prodigy hater for a pretty long time. During the, uh, during the stream, Prodigy was going off. It was rolling the mana sides, like, every single round with, like, very consistently it was very bizarre uh but i don't know i'm kind of maybe maybe changing my mind about this guy a little bit but not much i think he's still honestly kind of just fucking miserable uh fiend is okay i don't like gambler if we don't have any top bottom replacers which we don't have yet um and i i would say that the gambler is really tempting with the quartz ad because the five damage side will just instant kill the quartz but now that we've given the quartz bonus health it no longer is a one shot with the five damage we need another one damage to get in there so because of that, I'll just take the Fiend to get rid of Prodigy, basically. I think it's a good enough upgrade. But I'm not too shook up about it. Let's see if we can get a little bit of shields here. There we go. I am liking what I'm looking at there. I think we can go, like, burn into kill... Or not kill slime, like, kill, kill the rat here. And then next time we can burn again and kill both the bees. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Defender is dying this turn. Uh, do I want the suck one? Suck one's fine. Maybe get a little bit of shields in defender here. Nah, it's one shield not worth it. Okay, guys. Uh, what the fuck? 
Can we get our shit together a little bit here, please, if you don't mind? Thank you very much. We're, we're fine. We still win this, obviously, pretty easily. I'm not too worried, but... Uh, I do want my characters to actually roll the correct dice here, if they don't mind now. Okay, you know what? Hey, are you lazy? Never doubted you, bud. I ain't never doubted this guy. Okay, next fight. We get a thorn in exchange for thorn. We get change of heart and anchor. I like anchor a lot. Change of heart. I think I like better too here. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I think this is okay. I think we put the anchor on fiend here for turn one. And I think we put the hate change of heart. It's very bad on Acolyte because of the vitality side. Like the, the, the shield vitality does nothing basically. But this is pretty decent. Okay. And then I get a random tier one here because I do not like the other options that I see. Tincture doesn't do anything, but it is here, I suppose. Okay. Will this thorn kill my ass? Um, I think we're going to be okay here, honestly. Especially if we can get, like, a lazy shield side, which I don't think we can. Oh, we can. Look at that. Nice. Uh, who do I kill? I could kill this goblin, which I believe saves the acolyte, and then, the, yeah, we, we definitely go this way. That's a pretty easy line. Acolyte lives. B dies. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Fender getting petrified, definitely annoying there, but not like that side is super important anyway. So it's whatever. I'll keep, I'll settle for the shield side here too. It doesn't look too bad to me. Well, I was really hoping for that suck wand there. That'd be really good against the thorn this turn. Instead, Dabbler actually just comes in here and takes out the thorn, which is pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. Hold on. Okay, that seems solid. We could go for some burns here to try to kill the archer early, but I think we just want to not damage ourselves here and outvalue the enemy instead. That'll be a, a good enough line for us today. Uh, I'll take the three, the three shield here. That's that's pretty good. Hey, lazy, lazy did his job today. He can take some time off here. I'm not too worried. But you know what? With this roll here, actually, we should put the shield. On, I guess, Acolyte. It doesn't matter too much to me, I don't think. Okay. Now, Fiend is one health. But he gets the Suck Wand. And we have Lethal here. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Soldier versus Dabbler. Uh, let me think for a second here. I think it's Dabbler. I think Dabbler is just a better character than Soldier is. A little bit more health. Pretty close to equivalent side value here in general. A little bit more balance has mana generation too on it, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. And we'll give you the four shield side here too. That looks pretty good as well. Hmm. We are gonna have to like really kind of just uh, focus down the bramble here. We need to be as mana efficient as possible here, too, I think. Though I, I will say this turn is probably worthwhile to kill the rat first, because we can get the burn value in here. Yeah, that seems that seems correct to me. We do this into this. That works well enough, okay. Okay, Lazy's taking a lethal hit here. We need to do some defense on, on you. Although, actually, Lazy's run out of size. Lazy should be a pretty low priority to heal then, actually, here. I don't think we want to just let him die, but definitely low priority. You know, I'll settle for this. So we hit here. That will be a little bit more burning to kill that slime. Put this on Dabbler. Okay. We need to output six more damage. That's a lot of it. Okay, very good. 
Yeah, that is lethal. On the bramble, not on the uh, slime that appears afterwards. So we do need to be careful about that. We could burn here, but we lose two characters for it. I think Willy will instead let the slime run away. Uh, statuette doesn't look that good to me here. At least Rejuvenation Wand has some application. I think we'll just take that for the time being. Slap that on Lazy for now. It's pretty good on Lazy. You know, doesn't have anything else going for him, right? Uh, like a lot of these rolls, there's some pretty solid hits here. I'll take this. Uh, we can kill the barrel. Which is fine, I suppose. Uh, is the heal wand here good? Not really, I don't think. We just look for damage instead. We'll take that. We have pretty good rolls overall. So burn kills the snake. You can burst here. I think we can recover from this position. It's going to be a little bit tricky. We need to acolyte to roll one of the big heal sides here, probably. Or we need to roll the big heal wand on, uh, on, on Dabble, too. That could get us there. Hold on. How does this currently look? So we do this into, like, this, for example. We can, like, restore, then everyone's living. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. I'll take this. I'll take this and then I roll the other two. Yeah, I'll settle for now. That looks pretty decent. Um, I should kill the war chief first. I feel like that just makes way more sense here. Okay. Uh, Dabble's got nothing going on here. Whatever. I mean, Defender's got nothing going on there that turn. Not a whole lot to do. Okay, I'll settle for all these. These are pretty good rolls. Keep removing my poison. And... Oh, man, we do this into burn, but then lazy dies. We just pass here. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know why I'm killing the goblin. We can just kill the slimeless instead this turn, and then the goblin runs. I'm actually stupid. I've now realized. Oh, well. Unfortunate. Never punished, though. Yeah, just a little lapse in judgment there. Uh, Warden's fine on this team. Collector's pretty bad. That is a, a neat little upgrade. We get a little bit of cleanse on the Warden now, too, which is nice. Well, actually, it, it should just be on the Dabbler this whole time. That's my, my mistake as well. Just throwing left and right. Terrible run so far. Just miserable gameplay. Well, I want to mention too, actually, now that I think about it, I have to apologize. I made a really bad play in the last run. The, uh... Fuck. It was not good. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it was a good play or anything. It was a abysmally bad line that I took of, uh, of forgetting that blindfold just works with... Uh, <laughs> with roulette and instead using big hammer to get rid of my middle side and then blindfolding the hammer so that way I didn't have heavy anymore comically bad play but uh you know it is how it is and we can't we can't change the past we can only uh i don't know eat shit and die i guess uh we'll pass a turn like this this looks pretty decent i'll even put a burn in real quick too burn does not look too bad there and then, hey, can you roll something? There we go. Thank you. We can even cleanse that heal here if we wanted to. And lazy, what do you got for me? Nothing. Okay. Oh, wrong person. We do this into this here to kill the quartz. And then we just pass. And... Pretty much take all of those. We should have pretty close to lethal here, I think. Maybe not actually lethal, but we kill the pseudo for sure. 
Uh, put, put the shield here, sure. Put the heal. Oh, we just killed the slime that they run away. Okay. Very cool. Scalpel versus lead boots. We have no scalpel value currently. Lead boots, pretty decent on Acolyte right now. We also just take scalpel and find a, a red that can use it. I think we do that. I think we take the speculative scalpel pick here. Does nothing currently. Should do something probably, but hopefully, at some point. Take this. I'll take both of these. They look pretty good. We can make the militia run away here. We do need, we do need some mana in order to get there, though. That will get us there. Okay, cool. Okay, so what we do here is... Hit into burst. Put the heal here on the fiend. And then we hit a bandit. Nothing too crazy here. And the bandits are hitting for six each. Don't love that. You can do that. That's fine. Uh, I'll take the one man here. That also is pretty much fine. Four shield is okay this turn. Put this on Warden, I think. We will burst down the bandit once more. And, I mean, we can get an overkill. Both Lazy and Dabbler are capable of it. The question is that will they will they rise to the occasion? I don't think they will. But that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Oh, I was not paying attention. Hold on. Uh, huh. These are restore here in order to be able to get this, but that's fine. I'll just settle. Like, I'm looking at it, we can burn, but then the Fiend dies, and then we have to like invest resources to defend Fiend, and it's just not worth it this turn. I think we will just leave instead and be pretty happy with the turn of events here. If I can get the the cleanse here on board or on Acolyte, that'd be pretty good, I think. There we go. Okay, we work the fiend down here. Oh, not the fiend, the bandit down here. Shouldn't be too hard to get the kill. We have two characters dying, but we finally get our, our three damage side here a turn too late. But I think we have pretty close to lethal here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Druid versus world. Pretty easy druid pick here. It's not the greatest scalpel line in the world, but it is a plus one damage. Uh, boost there basically a uh, an ocular uh, pendant or whatever it's called which is I think decent enough here not gonna be too bent up about you know not getting an insane value play here lazy taking the turn off that's fine lazy you're doing great today honestly I'm not too worried about you uh, we want to work this fanatic down first probably especially because the bell's taking off this turn I think that makes sense Sure, four shield. Get a little bounce in there to keep lazy alive, I think. Okay, shouldn't have kept the shield on Dabble. Was just not necessary. We had, you know, an extremely high amount of damage, I suppose. Okay, how does this currently look? If we go like this into this into balance things are rough here we're losing someone no matter how oh no wait no yeah we're losing someone no matter how you slice it looks like no we're not never mind uh we put this here this here this here probably and then this like here okay that's good that seems that seems uh, like a solid line for us right now this will summon a Slimelet, but we get to kill that slimelet. Okay, very cool. Reroll Druid. No, uh, Druid's fine enough here. We don't have to try to look for something bigger and better. Power Stone. I remember Power Stone. I thought this replaced the left side. Is it, has it been middle this whole time? Very interesting. Power Stone, generally a pretty bad item. But um, in some weird knee situations, it ends up being incredibly strong. But one of those items is the, I believe, Silver Pendant. The tier 3 item that increases shields by 1. That is the correct name of it. 
iron pendant. Okay, I think silver is the is the plus two one, right? So burst plus this on the power stone ends up being net positive mana as well as free shields on your great character, which is pretty neat. And then even without it, it ends up being you know net even on shields to mana spent. Um. But like you know, how strong is that? How strong is a shield that only works on yourself equal to the amount of mana you have, right? It's not that good on its own. You really need to combo it to make it be like worthwhile. Um, and we don't have that combo, so I think here is looking like a like a, like a uh, probably just a, a glass blade angle here. Glass blade, pretty decent. We'll probably put it here for now. Put this here. I think that's fine. Although maybe we want it on warden instead. We lose the four shield side, but I don't hate it. And getting a five damage side on the character with 10 HP seems pretty good. So we don't have to worry about them potentially losing the blade. Although being a center character does mean they get targeted more by cleave attacks, yada yada. But uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll be fine. Okay, a lot of shields this turn. Okay, good job, Fiend. Good rolls. We have a lot of mana here. I think it's a burn balance angle. That yeah, looks pretty okay to me for the most part. Quartz weakening the, the Fiend is not very good here. That part is definitely unfortunate, but... We have very good defensive options here. We can just choose to kind of sit back and whittle them down, I feel like, and it won't be too bad. Now, you're weakened for two, right, Fiend? We can, we can take the shield here, and that works. Okay. So we do, like, this into this. Who's actually killing you? The slimelet and the the other than the slimelet, the slimer and the suitle, specifically the suitle here. So we can just do this this into balance again. Nobody's dying. Okay, looks pretty good to me overall. I think I will be taking this and this and this and this, and I'll be re-rolling the lazy for something better here. Hopefully, that is quite a bit better. That kills the quartz unit too, which is really good. Now we get to do this into balance. Could actually do burn instead if we wanted to, and then we can burst down like the bones here. We use fiend with one HP, but it doesn't look that bad, honestly. Another balance gets us a kill on all three slimelets here, or a burn if we really need to. Okay, pretty good stuff there. Let's see if we can get a little bit more mana, maybe. I'll, I'll take the damage, actually. Your damage is fine. Okay, shield. Boom. You can burn. Wand up here looks pretty good. I think we win this. Call it a hunch. I think we're winning this one, though. Suck wand, pretty good. Yeah, we just have lethal. Okay. Very good stuff there. Scrapper versus Berserker, genuinely an interesting question here. We have a lot of great shield generation. And we have a lot of good AoE damage on this team. I think it is a scrapper pick here. Berserker pretty good though too. But I think Warden combined with Druid combined with Fiend. All of these just make too much sense for Scrapper. Warden, we're going to probably move the blade somewhere else now. But War Scrapper has, you know, or Warden has good shield generation for the Scrapper. As long as Dabbler here with the, uh, the change of heart yet, especially with that. We make a lot of shields, we can put that on Scrapper. And then we also do good spread damage for the Bloodlust sides. Is this, this feels like the perfect scrapper team, basically. Um, I think Rejuvenation 1 doesn't make the cut here. I think... Uh, maybe go back to this line now. I don't hate that. Overall, looks pretty good to me. Okay. Next fight. We got the Shades targeting my Fiend here, which is unfortunate. I think we'll be fine still, but it is a little annoying. Um... Put this here. Burn. You know what? We need to roll a shield on Warden because we have too much. We have we're too good. We have too much damage. Let's try a shield here, maybe. No, that's damage. Okay. Well, you know what? We just hit too hard, I guess today. So we actually want to hit one of these shades first. I think. Oh, actually, hold on. If we do burn, 
it doesn't matter. I'm not realizing if we can kill the slime with this way. But it's still just annoying. The shades still live. They're killing the fiend's ass. What the hell? This kills one shade. I'll settle here. I'll look for like a shield and a suck wand maybe this turn. There's the suck wand. Dude, the warden wants violence today. I don't know what his deal is. I don't know what's going on with him, but I wish he would just kind of calm down a little bit. Okay, we should have lethal next turn here. Probably. Oh, the shade wants to leave. Okay, cool. I, I will allow this. Reroll Fiend. Honestly, with the Scrapper, I like the Fiend on this team now at this point. I think it was a little bit of an iffy character, but now he seems pretty strong to me. A sack of mana is very weird. I think we take it, but I don't think we use it yet. Here's the thing. We have the, we have the Rejuvenation Wand here too, right? So we could do, if we wanted to go crazy, we could do like this into this here. Which is fine. You know what I'm realizing also as well that we have we have access to? Look at this. How do, how do we feel about this? I think this is bad. With the Shield Bash, though, that's a lot of burst damage in theory. Just something to consider. I don't know, just neat. What does this do with this? This turns it into shields as well, okay. A lot going on, a lot going on. I don't know what is correct here. This still feels correct to me in general, is having this this heal into a shield. Um, and then the sack of mana. Where do you go? I don't think it goes on Scrapper. Maybe it goes on Fiend. I kind of th think this is okay. That doesn't look too bad to me here. Um, we can do this as well. We can go six damage on Druid with the Scalpel. That's fine too. Anchor on Scrapper for that turn one Shield Bash. Tincture probably goes back to the Dabbler at this point. And all in all, it doesn't look too bad. There's a couple of configurations here that I think they're okay that are okay right now. I don't know what's I don't know what's the best. I don't know what's the worst. They all just seem overall kind of fine. We get a lot of shields here. If we can hit the shield bash here, we can just one-shot the ghost, which is really nice this turn. We can. I am not realizing that the issue is more so the druid is getting sniped, actually, this turn. We probably do this, one-shot the ghost, and then we probably put a shield here. Okay, and we need to roll better on the fiend too, because the fiend's roll is worthless. Okay, yeah, that works. Kill your ass. Mm, we can go burn balance here. I don't know how good that is. Keeps you alive. A lot of enemies that are at 1 HP. That looks, that looks pretty good to me. It means we just need like a little bit more mana to get one more burn off here. The druid's weakened, so it's going to be hard to get that mana. Mm, I'll take this this turn, I think. We heal the druid this turn. Hmm. Warden survives, and that's we can put this here, probably. This into this looks pretty good. Okay, nobody's weakened. It's just a bunch of fucking idiots with one HP remaining, pretty much. Except for the one slimelet up top here. Now with the Druid not being weakened anymore, it should be much easier to hit a mana side. And that is more than enough mana. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Our first tier three. Um, Pretty interesting choice. These two work well together, obviously, with the Poison Nova and Plague. It can be, it can be pretty cool sometimes. Uh... This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I like them both a lot here. Uh, Venom is especially good against the Lich because we have the, the poison bow shots to get just to the Lich right away and start working them down. So we can't get stalled out here. Uh, Doctor, man. I really love the new liquor though. Three mana, heal ten, cleanse. Just has felt so strong to me. And I kind of don't respect Venom as much anymore, especially with the, the two blank sides here. It is genuinely a tough call. Also, the Venom has cleanse too, which is nice. I'm going to go Doctor, honestly. 
Maybe this is a crazy decision. I like this guy on this team, I think. We also could do this, which is hilarious, but I think we'll instead opt for this, which looks pretty good as well. Covering that Poison Nova with a, just a six damage side, to me, feels strong. So I think we'll be doing that instead. I'll take these. These kill the bones, so Fiend lives here no matter what. Shield Bash looks pretty good this turn, too. Kills the Quartz. Pretty good opening turn here. Nothing too crazy. I will say, there's going to be a lot of little fucking idiots <laughs> in this fight because of how much things are going to get summoned. But I think we can manage just fine, honestly. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. Yeah, we can, we can pretty much just keep up with it. The Lich can have, you know, an entire thing up to reinforcements still with enemies. And I think we will handle it just fine, it looks like. So I'm not too worried here. Okay. Fiend, Fiend doing pretty good stuff today. We can throw in a burn here too, potentially. I think we'll just opt to kill this bone into a burn. Into killing this bone. Into probably just liquor on the scrapper preemptively here. Doesn't seem too bad. This is going to be a long fight, though. I am coming to realize that this is going to take a long time to get through this, I think. It shouldn't be too bad, all things considered. Um, We'll hit here. And we'll burst you. Who's hurting this guy? What the heck? I mean, it's the Lich, obviously, but what the heck, man? Where did the Doctor's Heal go? Hold on. We put it there, okay. Uh, was that the same order I did? I don't even know, man. Whatever, who cares? I don't care. You can't make me go back and care. I refuse. Regen for the Fiend looks pretty good this turn of all his self-inflicted damage just having you know consistent health coming back seems pretty nice you know what put some liquor on him too just so his mana cantrip works this turn very important obviously you look for a shield bash here i don't think it matters man and the, li the lich is going to be a very slow fight here but i do not understand how the lich could possibly kill us it's, it seems like, to me, it is actually impossible. And actually, before we do any of this, put that there. Not that it matters. Man, whatever, okay. Make your bones, dummy. We'll just keep we'll just keep killing him every turn. Dude, this doctor loves rolling this side, man. It's crazy. Maybe should have kept some shields and shield bash here, but this also works pretty well, so I'm not too upset about it. Uh anyone actually care this turn really? Okay, we're good. We're doing just fine. Sure, I'll take the heal wand this turn. Why not, right? Seems decent enough. Put this on, like, Dabbler. Put this on Scrapper. Hit yeah, like so. The Lich makes 18 more bones. We kill the bones every turn, like, because like, it's no problem, because we're just kind of goaded with this shit. Put this here. Mm, you can do a burn for fun, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. This fight's taking too long, man. I'm, I'm getting bored. And I'm the one playing the damn game, dude. Come on. 
Let me out. Okay, burn here kills like everything. Here you go, Warden, have that shield. Mm. Oh, we can do better on Dabble. It is better. Okay, put these here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Order lol. Uh, I don't hate liquor on Doctor this turn just to get them unweakened here. I don't know, man. Three mana side that looks pretty good. Hit. Burn. Okay, we're finally free. After a million years, we're finally free of this nightmare. Uh, blindfold. Obviously, great synergies with things like uh, you know, you know the guy. Ah, uh, fuck. A <laughs> uh, barbarian would be very good. Would love to see that guy here. Jewel loop has some cool synergies too. Just for starters, it's okay with with fiend because then this becomes a two mana cantrip side, which is not amazing but not terrible. Um, I think the thing though that really sells me right now is jewel loop on scrapper just goes insane right now because these all get mana gain on them now. Like, just sh immediate short-term and potential long-term, this has a lot of benefits. The blindfold is is only a what-if if we see a certain character. And this makes Scrapper basically an endgame viable character now, too. Let's be let's be frank about it, right? Scrapper, Scrapper can do anything he wants now. I will take this. I will actually reroll you as well to look for some shields this turn. We got some shields. It's not many shields, but it is some shields. Now we will put some bursts here because we're gonna get the mana back. Uh, we probably just uh, kill the war chief. I think this turn. I kind of don't hate just killing the the slate here. Bean gets hit for two and gets weakened. Not the end of the world here. Yeah, Scrapper's just gonna be a monster. This character should not exist in this form. I feel like this is maybe too strong. The world was not ready for this, basically. Uh, I'll put this here, I think. And maybe do this first. Yeah, this just feels wrapped up, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. How do we how do we lose this game at this point? I doesn't it doesn't even feel feasible. Like the scrapper is just is just too strong, too consistent, too thick, too juicy. Like I don't know, man. Like jewel loop scrapper does just seem like the truth. Okay. And you know what? Look at that barbarian's here. That's so funny. I don't think I take him. Unfortunately, Stoic not that good with uh, Scrapper here. Because, again, Scrapper, unless we see something crazy, like like maybe Wizard, maybe Sorcerer, we're not we're not getting rid of Scrapper. Scrapper, Scrapper, too strong to, to get rid of right now. So the question is, I think, and then I think the answer is we take Stoic here. And we lose a little bit of shield value, but the, the burst plan is still very strong with Scrapper shield side. Um, but, yeah. This does not... Oh, you know, this is actually this is kind of a bad turn for us. I think we take these still, but this is a little bit iffy. Put this up here. You know what I can do, actually? I can, I can overkill a thorn. Get the bandit to run away here, which is pretty strong. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And then we can get you to run over. We can, we can just kill you, actually, this way. Yeah, this turn overall looks very good to me. Um, The thorns are a little annoying, but we should be able to handle them, I think, pretty, pretty well here. 
Okay, put this here. Kill you. We should just put liquor here. There we go, okay. And then we can kill this thorn. And we just have lethal. Okay, never mind, we're good. We need to leave the fight here. Very easy. Very clean. Uh, mushroom is fine. I don't know who mushroom goes on here exactly. I guess you can put it on dabble and not be too upset. We lose the the shield cleanse here, but that's not that big of a deal. Although actually, no, we can put we can put wooden bracelet on on dabbler, and that's actually really sick. Never mind. Now, now this is pretty much a, an end game viable character almost. This is basically this is this is dabblist. We have dabblist now on the team. It's not as good. It's a little bit worse because there's less damage sides, but it's pretty much a tier three character. Uh, okay. This is a pretty. Pretty interesting line here, I think. Love a little bit more mana if possible. I will settle for damage wherever it shows up, though, I think, this turn. Okay. We're gonna burn. Who's targeting you? It's Spiker, it's the, both the Ogres. Every, everyone hates Scrapper this turn, okay? I just want to make sure I know where we stand currently. Uh, I think I'm supposed to kill one of the Ogres. Maybe this turn. Well, even then, no. I think I think I actually can just kill the spiker. I think that works pretty well. Play it this way. No weaken coming in. It's just two ogres, a couple logs, and a couple slimes. If we keep hitting the bloodlust side on Scrapper. We are set. And even if we don't, we're still looking pretty good. Yeah, we are just fucking ready to go here. I'll take this. I'll roll the other ones. Mana looking pretty good this turn. The redirect also not looking too bad. Fiend rolling the four mana is just chef's kiss right now. Yeah, Scrapper, nine mana gain. Listen. You heard it here first, folks. It's pretty good. Okay, and who's actually killing the Fiend right now? Is the slimes here? Okay. Okay, we'll just take it like this and pass the turn, I think. I don't know, man. Again, the the the, the scra we need to like triple X Scrapper like three turns in a row, I feel like to lose this game. Which could happen. Scrapper has two X sides. It's not the most reliable character ever of all time. Shit shit can go wrong. And we should not be ignorant of the fact that it can go very, very wrong here in theory, but it doesn't feel like it's happening to me today. I don't know. Uh, gas is fine. Gas is good enough here. It doesn't hold the, the sack of mana too well. Um. Nah, not that good. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think, oh, you know what? This doesn't look too bad to me. I do not hate this currently. Because the redirects aren't too important because Scrapper, you know, doesn't really need them. And he's the main carrier of our team here, so more mana should be pretty good. We can always convert mana into shields for a shield bash here. Look at, would you look at that? How how interesting that that, you know. Almost, I would maybe go as far as to say prophetic almost. Um, Put a weaken on Troll King here almost for sure. We harvest the shit out of Quartz this turn. And then I think we just... I think we do this, and then we prepare to... to harvest the slate next turn. We do- we did lose our- our good AoE enabler with, uh, with Fiend there, and- and Bloodlust. But even then, I don't think we're too- we're too worried here. They put this here on Stoic. You love to see it. Almost lethal on the Troll King. Not quite there. I think we'll just play it like this, though. Okay, everyone's hitting me this turn. Pretty fucked up. But I, th I think, once again, we are still just pretty much too far ahead for it to even matter. 
We can't get any harvest this turn. We can just burst everything, which does win the fight, so that's pretty good. Uh, Wax Seal. Hey, can you fuck, shut the fuck up, Gas? I'm thinking here. Hold on. Uh, Wax Seal. I mean, it is just a plus one all on Scrapper, which is pretty good. I think I can live with that. Put the anchor away. Hold on, order. Order, lol. There we go. Very cool. They should have this here. Forgot about that. Um, You know what, Gas? I guess you hold the anchor now. There you go, buddy. There's your item. You happy? I think pretty much all of these are pretty good rolls here this turn. Okay. Kill the zombie. Redirect off of Dabble this turn. Instant kill the quartz, which is very funny to me. Do some do some damage to the golem here, I think, too. No no harvesting this turn, unfortunately. But that's fine. Just chipping away at those shields is pretty good this turn. Yeah, this is this is a this is a wrap. Could just kill our gas here. If I feel like we're so far ahead, like what the fuck is the point of that? Seems like a bad play to me. We can stun the golem here, which is pretty good this turn, but I want to just find mana. Ah, whatever. Whatever. A little bit of an MLG play here. Suck the golem's soul right out of his body. Could do a little bit of liquor here, but I don't think it's worth it. They only take mana sides here on Doctor. Looking pretty good. Oh, the Scrapper's gonna triple X me? Oh, he would never. I knew he would never do it to me. Kill the Basilisk. Uh, I think we do like maybe this into this into Harvest. Redirect off this turn. I don't know what I'm even doing here besides just like winning very easily. It doesn't feel like there's much point. I'll take this. The the weaken wall is not gonna even get to the back line no matter what I do here. So I'm not too concerned about rolling it. Although we Scrapper did finally miss. We put this here. Over a little liquor on, on Dabbler, probably, too. You know what? Good harvested, fool. And I think we just pass. I know I have two usable dice. I mean, I guess here you go. There, we happy. Okay, there's the mana. There's a lot of things, okay. Yeah, that should be game over. And we harvest your ass. Cool, okay. Uh, Curator? I will say, listen. Curator's got some stuff going on here. We have potentially jewel loop charge side. Steel side. Era side. There's 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 good things happening here. I think that it's not good enough though. I think genuinely in my heart of hearts, I believe the scrapper is more consistently good for our team. Um Which does feel crazy. Maybe I am crazy here. Hold on, let me think for a second. I don't know. What do you what do you guys do here? I think I think also Luda, not good, but not terrible on this team either, because we get to do the uh wooden bracelet on Luda. It's a plus one all then. Man, mana gain charge though is really strong. Obviously. And then you know what's cool too is that we still get we still get a jewel loop on the steel side here. The era side has jewel loop too, so as the fight goes on, this just keeps getting bigger and bigger. You already have mana gain, so it does nothing. So it's these three getting buff versus these four. Also we have the wax seal. I think it is just scrapper, honestly. 
Give me Luda here. I think he keeps Scrapper. Crazy, I know, but I think this is the way to go. Oh, you know what we could do? I don't hate I don't hate moving the blade over here. It's not like the worst line ever. Um Regen shields are also pretty good. I don't know. I guess this is this is fine. It's a little bit more synergistic with the scrapper, I'll say. I think that's okay here. I guess this just goes over here now. You know what? Here you go, bud. No, never mind. Okay. Luda's dying. Not too worried. I think we'll manage just fine here. Yeah, we're managing just fine. Okay. Uh, Luda gets to kill this quartz, which is nice for us here. Kill the Kaw, too, which is also very nice for us. Um... Don't really have any great harvest opportunities here, unfortunately. Then we just burst Spiker down, pass, and uh, we'll see how this turn looks. Definitely hold these. All very good rolls here, it looks like to me. We can do better. That works, whatever. Um. There was probably a cleaner line here. But this gets the job done. That does get the job done here for sure. Time Stone. Not a lot of application on this team. It's fine on Ludo, but it's not great. I think we take the Eye of Horus here. And where does the Eye go is the question. It probably goes, I think, actually onto Doctor here. And Doctor holds this really well. I think Scalpel just goes away. Which is whatever, it's fine. But, um, yeah. This looks pretty good to me. I'll settle for two mana uh, gain here. We can do better on Luda this turn, I bet. We do way better. Very cool. And we get, so we get some goodies here. Nine damage mana gain. Harvest the troll too. You do love to see it. We could lick her preemptively here. I think we do because he's got pain coming in this turn too. Actually, yeah, I think that's fine. Whatever. We don't have great spread damage anymore, like I mentioned previously. But this should be okay. Put the regen on Stoic this turn. I think that's okay. We can harvest the Wisp this turn, which is really nice too. We're one off from killing this this troll with bursts. So then we play it this way. Okay. I just I don't see how we lose, man. I don't know. Maybe a, a boss I'm not thinking of is somehow really good against us here and we die. I just don't know which one it would, it would even be. Maybe we get really unlucky and Scrapper does just whiff 10 trillion times. That is very much possible. What do we do here? Actually, hold on. Do it this way. Get an extra burst in. Dude, he's so good. He is actually so sick with it. Yeah, I... Fuck, fuck both of you, man. Neither of you are even remotely as close to being as strong as our Scrapper here. So, nice try. Got an exhaust coming in here. We're going to need to make a lot of mana in order to get uh, enough cleanse down. We could just do... Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna be okay, I think. Hold on. Yeah, if, you, if you're not seeing the line, you're gonna love this. He 
guess we hit, I don't know, you. And then we just start liquoring up, basically. Unfortunately, the inevitable is, is still getting the exert off here, which sucks. We play it this way, and we're pretty much set still. You still live if we do that. Well, let's do... I guess this. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Oh, I can... I can oh, I can do this. Hell yeah. Oh, I can do this. Okay, we've, we've, we've completely dodged the... Uh, the exertion. Yeah, this is just unbelievably GG, I feel like. They're all poisoned as shit. We're, we're just fucking... Actually just chilling. No one's even close to getting their ass beat here, I feel like. We're making, like, a billion mana per turn because of Scrapper. Hold on, we can do this. Into... Can we hit the inevitable here? Into something like that? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. We can go Liquor into Liquor here as well to remove the incoming uh, Weaken. I think we just, like, kill your ass, too, up here, Wisp. Like, I, 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 I'm I playing this a little sloppy, mainly because I don't think we have to even play it tight. I think we just have this one wrapped up. And there, I, I just, I, can, I cannot see Inevitable winning this. I don't know how he would even try. We got reinforcements here now, but again, what the fuck do they do? I'll take this. That seems okay this turn. So this goes here. How much health do you have? You have eight? Oh, look at this. A free harvest for me you shouldn't have. Hit you for 11. Liquor. Liquor, whatever, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's just so over. We should burst one of the slimelets here, I guess. Whatever. Okay, we have another uh, exhaustion coming in here. I'll settle for the five damage. Nothing else that Luda can really roll, right? And... We hit for nine. We can stun the inevitable now, too. It's so fucking over for this guy, man. What the fuck does he even, like, consider doing this turn? Like, it, I don't know. Whatever. This is, this is one of the strongest ones I've ever had, I feel like. Jewel loop, scrapper is insane, and then with the doctor's opening turn of the, the two poison all, it was just, it was over before it started, man. Yeah, I'll settle for this. This is fine. We have another stun. The inevitable too, that's very funny to me. We almost could harvest. We're almost there. You know what? Flawless victory. Everyone everyone get the full health here. Goodbye, inevitable. Great run. Very cool stuff. Hopefully not nothing terrible misplay wise. Oh, wow, actually no deaths as well. We had gassed. And we just cho chose to never use his side because of how strong the uh, the Jewel Loop Scrapper was. That was crazy. Good run. Secretly very strong line two here. Actually, I believe was the uh, the change of heart on Doctor. That comboed really well with that Scrapper. I feel like a little bit, little bit uh, maybe under the radar there on that one. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you for the live stream if you if you stuck around. Uh, and you were here early enough in the stream to catch it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, peace.